Transportation Let Association. Good evening. Thank you so much for having me. When Senator Bronsberger invited me, I had to say, Senator, are, do I have to come in tar and feathers? Are these people just there to kill me? Please just tell me the truth. But uh, I, I, I know that this is an important event and one that certainly trucking has a tremendous amount of interest in. The key to safer roads and safer uh, accident-free miles for bikers and for truckers is a partnership. And that partnership should be designed so that all of us who share the road can coexist safely in that environment. In Massachusetts, you might be surprised to learn that 93.7% of all goods, all goods in Massachusetts are delivered by truck. There are four modalities considered on national surveying, air, rail, sea, and truck. And in mass, we are uniquely dependent on trucks for our deliveries. So the New Jersey Association says you'd be naked, hungry, and homeless without trucks. So I'm going to go with that for tonight. So I think the essentiality of trucks in our industry and the need for us to co on the exist on the road it is, is really evident at, at, on its face. Um, we do have some other partners not here tonight that I hope you would consider working with. We do on an ongoing basis. Um, large buses, the New England Bus Association, very active, someone that should be uh, at the table as well. And AAA, who has over two million vehicle drivers as Massachusetts members. That's not nationwide, that's just here. So those are all stakeholders that should join the table along with government and uh, private organizations like the Trucking Association to try to solve this problem in the unique manners that we're very creative about in Massachusetts. I think the primary issue that we need to address is education. Without education, you don't know what our needs on the roads are, trucking, and we don't really know necessarily what your needs are. And I wanted to take some uh, data out of the NHTSA FARS report, which is Fatal Accident Reporting System. Every year they put out a significant report on road fatalities, whether pedestrian, truck, car, uh, or bicyclists. And unfortunately, it's federal government, so the figures that just came out this year are actually covering the study period of October 2013 to September 2014. So they're a little bit dated, but they're not, certainly they're not completely out of the question. Um, and in that NHTSA report, I'm just going to refer to my notes, there was a 23% reduction in bike fatalities over the prior year's reporting period. And these are Massachusetts national figures. So just, mm -hmm. it's, it's put out by NHTSA, it's not put out by the truckers, and I think boys. you'll find that it's, it's really good info. In Massachusetts, we're the 42nd state, lowest state on truck fatalities. We have 0.7% less than 1% truck fatalities is the historic measurement in the Commonwealth of Mass. So as compared to other states, we really are doing a lot of good things with the help of government to make sure that the roads are safe for all the users, that coexistence that, that I talked about. In that year, there were a total of 79 bike fatalities nationwide. So this isn't just Mass across the entire country, there were 79 bike fatalities. Mm -hmm. um, we in the Trucking Association, the National Association has a big truck that's really outfitted inside of the trailer portion as an educational center. So it has, you can take uh, a driving recreation course and see what it's like for a truck driver. We've had the Share the Road truck come into Massachusetts a couple of times. We've particularly focused on young drivers, drivers in driver's ed. Because if we're not getting those young drivers early and teaching them how to share the road, none of us can coexist safely in that environment. The Share the Road truck, when it comes in, 
you can do all these cool activities inside the trailer, but it's also completely marked on the exterior as to what the clearances needed for trucks are. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information for those of you who are biking enthusiasts to know what those are. We call it right turn crowd the curb. A truck must do that in order to make the swing in a right turn and get the tail end wheel safely around the curbing, not run up on a pedestrian sidewalk or a crosswalk area. So right turn crowd the curb is what truckers learn. And in that manner, I want to make sure that you're aware, if you're riding beside a truck, that you know that truck indicating a right turn is going to have to crowd the curb to make the arc to complete safely the turn that right turns require. So that's, I think, an important thing for you folks to know. No traveling behind the truck. We have actually had people who grab on to the tailgate of the truck and let the truck pull them. That couldn't be more dangerous if you were just sticking a rusty knife in your arm. I mean, there is just nothing more dangerous. But I want to emphasize, it's not just in the rear of the vehicle, but there is a wind force around the sides of the vehicle that will entrap a bicyclist in the velocity of wind that surrounds a large truck when it uh, is moving, especially at a high rate of speed. So in that case, we ask that you try to give some distance to the truck so you're not kind of sucked into that wind tunnel. Blind spots and mirrors, I think that's really important. I don't think that the average motorist has any idea how little visibility a truck has or anything traveling close to it. The closer you are, the less likely that they can see you. And for again, for those of you who bicycle, if you look into the truck's side mirrors and you don't see your own image, then he cannot see you. You're too close to the vehicle for the mirrors to pick that up. So please keep that in mind if you're traveling. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, so if you're traveling next to a bike, you, uh, next to a truck, please make sure you're aware of these issues. Um, new safety features in trucks that the OEM manufacturers have added. We now have downward slopes on the hood so that you can see over the hood for pedestrians and bicyclists in front of the vehicle. We have fender convex mirrors so they get a wider range of view around the sides of the vehicle. We, and these are all OEM equipment. They come on all trucks. They now have downward facing mirrors at the front of the vehicle, again, so that they can see things closer to the ground than we currently have. So what can we do partnering with government to make this happen? There are three things that we strongly advocate for in every legislative session. First, we need infrastructure investment. There are certain intersections, highways, roadways, that we know are dangerous for the coexistence of bike lanes and, and truck lanes, but we can't seem to get the funds to make those repairs. Redesigning intersections, making sure infrastructure is updated, will bring a lot more safety to all of us on the roads. The Motor Carrier Advisory Council, something we filed for a number of legislative sessions that would force government and stakeholders to meet together to solve these problems. Most other states have them, Mass does not. And finally, comprehensive routing efforts. Uh, Mass Motor did uh, take on an initiative and the Committee on Transportation felt it was important, passed it through, and gave $300,000 just to truck routing. Signage gives bicyclists a good idea of where trucks are driving. Either you can avoid that road, you know it's a truck route, a mandated truck route that we must follow. So a statewide view of effective and comprehensive travel uh, truck, uh, trucking uh, routes makes it a lot easier for all of those, those of us who coexist. And bicyclists, please be safe around trucks. NHTSA has, has told us that in their reports, 93% of bicycle fatalities are bicyclists, not truckers. So we're a highly regulated, very professional industry. We want very much to work with you on some of these suggestions I've laid out. Keep those roads safe. 
and to keep bicycles safe. I have eight grandchildren, and they all ride their bikes. So stay safe. Thanks so much.